evening. Good press conference. This is my wife, Lucy. And I want to state something that I have wanted you to hold dear and permanently in your heart. You know, and I know, and everybody else knows that I'm married and I have only one wife. And everyone in Kenya knows it. But the media keeps repeating about my having another wife or wives. I want to make it very clear that I have only one dear wife, Lucy, who's here. And I do not have any other. And anybody who knows me and knows my family and knows how I live, they know I have only one wife. And they do not expect any dis dispel or any diversion from the reality of life by people telling lies. So ladies and gentlemen, I decided to make it public and to appeal to you, the public, to listen to what I say and not to continue dispelling lies all over the place. It does not help anyone anywhere and it cannot be anywhere nearer the truth, since the truth is known. I have also had, had to say, I have only my four children. You know their names. I don't have to repeat them. But in case you don't know, you can ask me. I'll tell you. Or you can ask any of them. They can tell you. But seriously, it is not possible for me to go on, to go on and on repeating this same thing when you people in the media, for some foul reason, love to publicize Wongo and it is without the truth. I've also said that I have uh, relatives who are from my family and who are known, but not any other people. All I would like to appeal to you is to listen to what I do say and to s tell everybody the truth. And that is what will help in this country. Now, I have gotten into this very foul mood for after listening yesterday before or day before some statement which gave stories. I don't want to repeat, but I want to say quite frankly, anyone who is bent on that course He'll see me in court or wherever he will see me, and we shall deal with him. No other way, no other way whatsoever, for the reason that there is no genuine purpose for people wanting to continue to spread lies about myself, because I don't have such lies around myself. I don't have. So ladies and gentlemen, ask any question you want to ask me. I'm happy to reply to them. Ask now or never. From here you go right tomorrow night. I'll be with you. Now is the Thursday. Mr. President, my name is Jim Mr. Kenya. 
Yes, okay. What do you think is the basis for this hallucinogenesis in this world we call it? I do not know. That's exactly precisely why I feel pain. Have you get yet? Are you from get yet? I don't have any reason. I don't. And I don't have any reason why anyone would want, want to continue to tell such stories. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. And if you have any questions, you can ask. Anybody? Yes, ask now. And from now on, continue to write to the truth, not lies. You have been heartless. The president did not say that. You have been tormenting us. I don't know what to get out of it. You get here, and I nearly came to your studio last night to attack you. The way I did the weekend. I saw you listen with someone who told you to wait a bit. Come to the president. Telling lies. Covered by so many people. You, foreign journalists, ambassadors. Name them, all of them. Listening to Moita's lies. The president might not take him to court. Me and my family will not take him to court. Over that issue. Go tell him that. Thank you, Santi. <laughs>